Clemens. Madonna on seven about dinner. Should I cancel your plans with Miss Abdul? Madonna again? Just tell her I. Tell her I. Mr. Clements. Mr. Clements. Mr. Clements. Oh, huh? Mr. Clements. Yeah. Mr. McClafferty will see you now. Oh, thanks. Actually, it's Andrew. Says Alan here. No problem. I love Alan. Great name. Great smile. That's a diffident smile. Am I right? Uh, sure. Diffident. That's my baby, huh? If tartar and plaque make your teeth go black. You ever suffer from flea bites, Alan? Um, not lately. Itching and scratching's a painful reaction to those pesky little ticks and fleas. Just glob on some bum bum and blast those little suckers away. That one skyrocketed me to the top. Come here, I want to say something. Alan, what do you see? A parking lot? No, that's not just a parking lot. That's my parking lot. And that is my Maserati. Alan, I got land, money, cars, stocks, you name it, I got five of them. Mr. McClafferty, delivery for you. It looked important. Vivian, Vivian, Vivian. Come on, come on in. I would like for you to meet Al. Hi, Alan. The name's Veronica. Hi, Veronica. The name's really Andrew. <laughs> Believe me, I understand. Are you Mr. McClafferty's secretary? No, actually, I'm a department head. Inter-office communications. I'm trying to... Yeah, yeah, that's real interesting, real interesting. Uh, anyway, I'm sure the two of you will get along splendid. Huh? She's a fine, competent young woman. Thing is, Alan, in this business, you don't want enemies. Everyone is your friend. You never know where your next great idea is going to come from. Bend your knees, sir. Bend your knees. Gives your shot more spring. Seriously. Boy, I think you are going to clean up in this business. Yep, really gonna clean up this business. Hey, good work, Clemens. Really, it's no big deal. I get some on-the-job experience for a couple weeks, then get a work-study credit at school. That's all. If they can use this card, I'll eat it. Gin, bon appetit. Yes. Wow, who died? Oh, Ooh. I'm afraid my lab did. Whoa. I had a little uh, yeah. mishap with some yeah. hydrogen sulfide. Ooh. I won't be able to stay there for at least a few days. So, I guess it's off to the Hotel La Rose. I heard of that place. I thought it was condemned. Yeah, I stayed there once with my dad. We're talking cockroaches the size of rabbits. Well, it's only for a few days. Yes, Ben. You can stay here until your lab clears up. Oh, oh, Stephanie, what a generous offer, but I, I really wouldn't want to be any kind of an imposition. But if it's no trouble... <clears throat> Abramson, Zimmerman. Yep, great on the job training, all right. I'm getting real good at the old alphabet. Put this with the other ones, will you, Veronica? Certainly, Mr. Clements. You know you don't have to call me that. <laughs> Sorry. Tiger. Tiger. Tired? Huh? I said tired. You were daydreaming. Sorry. I guess I was. 
That's all right. It's easy to do down here in the dungeon. I, I was dreaming. I actually, we were running the company. I bet we probably could. I know as much about the advertising business as anyone here. I have ideas for their Quigley account that'll knock them dead. Does Mr. McClafferty know that? Who knows? All he cares about is getting his mail by 11. I think I better get going. Jay? I'm increasing blood supply to the brain to maximize oxygen transpiration. Very therapeutic. Your head's all purple. That's healthy. Looks like it's gonna explode. Aaron, don't exaggerate. I'm not exaggerating, and I'm not gonna clean it up, either. Ah, Stephanie. Uh, I'm conducting a very important experiment this afternoon. Involving some tubing, which I have to rig up. I hope that won't be a problem. Ben, our home is your home. You're a very gracious host. And trust me, you'll hardly even notice. <laughs> okay. Mom, what's the deal with all these tubes all over the place? Oh, it's just one of Ben's experiments. He says it won't be here long. You want mayo? Sure. None for me, thank you. Mayo could rust my resistors. Ben? Meet Todd, my new turbokinetic optical detection device. I'm in the garage right now, monitoring your every movement. Well, it's kind of cute. You think it'll sell? Will it sell? Will cold fusion sell? Will superconductors sell? Will Harriet divorce Phil? Will Evelyn meet her evil twin? Aaron, what are you watching? Yes. My soap. Morning, the morning heat. heat. But I've been waiting all day for a PBS special. But Harriet and Larry are having a steamy love affair. But this is a special report on cellular solubization of amines. Arthur just found out he won the lottery, but he's only got a week to live. Aaron, you'll ruin your mind on that drivel. As we see here, you won the lottery? Forty million. A snowflake. I don't care if I've only got a week to live. I'm taking that ten-day cruise. <laughs> 